What's up, dwellers of the interweb? This is Saurus in Gaming, and we have another unboxing for all of you. This is the Black Shark Fun Cooler Pro. I just ordered this off Lazada a couple of days ago. It costs about 1,699 Philippine pesos and it came with this little freebie here called the Ungrip, some kind of tag thingy that you can stick to the back of your phone. Personally, I don't really like these kind of things, so I will not be using this. Most likely, I will give it to a relative or something. But this is exactly what I've been wanting for quite a while now. This is, like I said, the Black Shark Fun Cooler Pro. The box is in relatively decent shape. There's a bit of a dent in the back here, but nothing too serious. Now let's open this up and have a look in the inside. Nothing else in the box. So here we have all the things inside. We got the QR code. This is for the app. I will show that in the video. Then we have the, what is this? The user manual? Yep, user manual. Pretty basic stuff right here. And this right here is the fan itself. Look at this baby. Wow, that is beautiful. The grips are... Strong. They're not really loose. They're quite good. They have a lot of strength to them. There's the on-off switch down there. We'll just put that there for now. Then we have the, I think this is a Type-C. USB-A to Type-C, yeah. Of course, there's no brick charging brick inside, but that's okay. So to see if it works, we're now going to plug into this uh, power bank here, like so. And then we turn it on. Wow, look at that. Pretty quiet too. Look at that, it's so nice. So now the inside of this, let's see, it's already starting to get cold. Yeah, it's already starting to get wet here. It's really quick to get cold. It's really cool. So basically, I can't really show on my phone right now because I'm using the phone to record. But if I was to show you on my old Samsung Note 3, you can see how it clips on. So it will just clip on the back like so. And then it's keeping it cool. So then you just play like that with the cooler on the back. Now I will show some some footage using my Note 3 to record the how to place it on the on the uh, Rob 3. So forgive me for the poor quality. This is an old old phone, so of course the uh, quality of the video will not be the same. Anyway, we will now be transitioning to that. Let's check out what it looks like on the Rob 3. Okay, so we're now on the uh, Note 3 camera so the, the quality is different smaller resolution and all that but here is my rogue phone 3 we're now going to check what is the current temperature because obviously it's been recording so the temperature will be I rep the phone itself is pretty hot right now it is currently 44 degrees the phone is pretty hot so now we're going to put the cooler on the back like so. Let's check out what the temperature is going to be like in a couple minutes. There we go, it's already 43. So we'll go back and check on that in a moment. The next thing I'm going to do is actually install this uh, this app. Here we have the app for the uh, Fun Cooler Pro. It was uh, installed by using a QR code here from this little tickety thing here. Once you've installed it onto your phone, you have two modes here, freeze and frozen. So on freeze, the fan is actually not too loud. Like it's still loud. I don't know if you can hear it. But freeze mode, the fan is a lot louder. Then you have um, different settings. So you can actually change the different lighting settings. Sorry for the blur. Okay, so we got lighting mode, light effect speed. So light effect speed, what is this? So it's currently on fast. Then we have the coloring scheme. Right now I put it on breathe. So if we put it on streamer, that's that's the default. So it's like that. But let's put it to breathe. It's on red right now. And there you go. Looks pretty cool. So while that's been happening, let's just check the temperature in the back here. And what it seems. But currently it's 35 degrees now from 44. Pretty good. I'm gonna have to check while playing games, but so far it's pretty good. And people were worried about having this on the back, blocking the fan. But as you can see, the air vent for the fan thing is here. And then it's on top of the power button, but it's not actually pressing hard enough to turn off the phone. So you don't have to worry about that either. So when you're actually using it, it's fine. So with Genshin Impact on X Mode 3, with um, the fan on Frozen Mode, I've been playing for a good 10 to 20 minutes, I guess. It's currently 46 degrees, which is actually pretty good considering this is X Mode 3 with everything on overclock. If you look, and yeah, Yes, you can actually do it without the aero cooler. If you look over here in the um, armory, you can see that it's on, on the performance in hardcore tuning. Everything is on high, the CPU and GPU. Of course, the temperature control doesn't count because there's no aero cooler connected.
connector. When you have it on this mode here, that's like having it on X mode 3. Considering that's what X mode 3 is, and I'm using the um, the uh, Black Shark Fun Cooler Pro, it ranges from about 43 to 46 degrees, but it doesn't get higher than that, which I think is pretty good. Obviously, that is on X mode 3, so if I turn that off, it wouldn't be as bad. So if I turn that off and we try again in another 10 minutes, we'll see what the temperature is like. Oh, and also, this is also on, um, on the graphics on everything is max settings except that I've turned crowd density to low and uh, turned motion blur off because I don't like that. But everything else is on the highest settings. I've disabled X mode 3 and as you can see after about 10 minutes the temperature is at about 43 degrees Celsius. So it's still in the mid 40s but a couple degrees less than it was on X mode 3. So it's still pretty good considering I'm on the, the maximum graphics and things like that. I would say that's not bad. It doesn't feel too hot in the hand. So yeah, I think it's pretty worth it. Definitely worth it. Oh, one more thing. I have seen other people ask me about the um, about the power button. But see, look, as you can see, the power button is here. So what happens is, is when you attach it, like, <laughs> like so, when you attach the cooler and you put it over the power button, it does do this, right? So it activates, but then you just press it again and it goes away. So it doesn't turn the screen off and then you have no more issues. It's no big deal. So don't worry about the, the fan covering the power button. It really doesn't make a big difference. I wanted to add, a lot of people think that when you've got the Black Shark Pro on your, on your ROG Phone 3, that there's going to be water that gets into the air vent here. I would, I would like to say that that's probably most likely incorrect. There is not enough water coming out on the back of that, of that uh, cooler to go inside your phone. Just don't put the phone over your air vent and then I don't see why there's a problem. Also, I've been playing um, Uma Musume with X mode on, with the CPU on and every CPU max and everything. And it's, it started off at 35 degrees and now it's up to, it's gone down to 30. It was 29 degrees when I was in an air conditioned room, but now that I'm back in the kitchen, it's gone up to 30. So in uh, temperature in the outside area does matter too. Moment of truth, we are going to remove the air cooler and see how much water is on the back of the phone. So we're gonna just take this off like so. So how much, you see I haven't touched the phone. How much water is on the back? None. There is just, it's just cold and there's like a mist there, but there is no water. You have nothing to fear. I hope that clears up the uh, worries for some of you. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, think about maybe getting one of these. This is actually really cool. I'm glad I bought this. Definitely worth the, the money. Yeah, so until next time, this is Sorosin Gaming. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all my upcoming content content and I will catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care everyone. Be safe. This is Sorosin Gaming signing off.